mean, inflation at the moment, 7.8%, is way too high. It needs to come down. I don't think we're at the peak yet, yeah. but how far we have to go up, I don't know. It's going to depend upon the inflation data, the resilience of spending, the strength of the global economy, and what's happening with prices and wages. People really forgot about how corrosive inflation was and how it eroded your savings, how it made income inequality worse, how it really hurt the poor. So I think we've forgotten about that because it's 30 years since we lived in that world and um, our job as the central, country's central bank is to make sure that doesn't happen and part of the way we do that is to remind people of the dangers of it. It's the job of the central bank to control inflation, to make sure that inflation expectations don't adjust and we avoid all those terrible things. So that's the job of the board of the Reserve Bank. It's not just me. I find sometimes the, the fact that it's all sheeted, sheeted down to me is, uh, is a bit unfair, but <laughs> because it's the board. There are nine of us, including Michelle, who make these decisions. And we take them collectively. It's not just me making these decisions. There are nine people based on the advice of a large staff. So uh, that's the world we operate in. I'm not complaining about it. That's, that's our job. I've got to contain, contain inflation, and I've got to um, convince the community that we're serious about that. That's our job, and it's unpopular. And I accept that. That's why the central bank is independent in its decision-making from the political process. It's easier for me to do unpopular things than it is for maybe some of you. I don't know.